It's important that you as a graphic designer have a skill set to be able to determine when to use different types of colors and we've been talking about spot colors versus CMYK process colors or even RGB process colors. It's also important for you to be able to double check to make sure that you have set up the document in the way that you're intending. And you should be 100% confident when you send your file to the output service provider, whoever's receiving your file, that you have communicated effectively what your intentions are for that job, whether it's print or some sort of digital output. And so we're going to check or test our spot colors or just all of our colors in InDesign using the separations preview panel. The separations preview panel within InDesign can be used to test which colors are present in InDesign. This is the easiest way to see where and how often the color, process, or spot is used. It also allows designers to identify artwork as being a knockout or an overprint, which is something we haven't really talked about in the intro to InDesign class just yet, and so we'll cover that in more detail in this advanced version of the InDesign course. Knowing the difference between a knockout and overprint can drastically impact the final output of your artwork. Your artwork will look completely different if you have it set as an overprint or a knockout. To open that separations preview panel, you'll go to the window menu and choose output and then separations preview. When you are creating artwork, you're going to choose colors, right? You're going to say, I want it to be blue. Do I want it to be CMYK blue or do I want to print spot blue? But you also have the ability to determine if it is a knockout or an overprint. Some fun facts about knockouts and overprints are that ph photographs that are placed into InDesign are overprints by default. There's no way to force them to print as a knockout. If you want to print a photograph, you must have a blend of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black that create that full color image. You cannot print a, a photograph as spot colors because you would need millions of colors to create that photograph. Vector art and type that's created directly inside of InDesign or any other vector-based software application like Adobe Illustrator will be a default a knockout. And so if you wanted it to print as an overprint like the photograph does, you would have to convert it. You'll use the attributes panel within InDesign to change any knockout artwork to be an overprint. Um, if we go back to that first bullet point, you cannot convert a photograph to be a knockout. And so if something is already an overprint and you have not set it as an overprint, you can't use the attributes panel to say it's an overprint, change it to a knockout. You can only say it's a knockout, let's change it to be an overprint. To access that, you're going to go to the window menu output and this time choose the attributes panel. And so you can see here in the illustrations how you would launch those panels. On the left is how you would launch the separations preview panel. Choose the window menu, come down to output, and then choose separations preview. And you can see that in this example, I have the view mode turned to separations. By default, the view mode will be off, and you should always leave it off unless you're using the separations panel. One thing that will happen a lot is that you'll close out of this panel by accident, and you'll leave the separations on. Don't forget to turn those off. The separations preview panel shows you a number of things. It shows you the colors that you're using in the project, etc. To open the attributes panel, you'll go to the window menu, scroll down to output, just like you did for separations preview. But in this case, you would choose attributes, and you can see that there are four options on this panel. Most likely, you'll be using the first two, overprint fill or overprint stroke, and that will convert anything that's already a knockout to be an overprint. Using the separations preview panel is important and you should understand how to do it properly. The separations preview panel is a quick and easy way to see what colors are used in a design, where they're used, and whether or not they are printing as a knockout or an overprint. The steps that we're going to follow to use the separations preview panel are to one, open the separations preview panel, and you can do that via the window menu, output, and then separations preview. You need to change the view setting from off to separation, which activates the separations which allows you to see a more accurate representation of how something will be printing. And then there's an eye to the left of each of the colors that are included on in the separations preview panel and you can turn them on and off in various combinations to see what colors are used in the design, uh, where they're located and how they interact with other colors. Two things to note here, any colors listed on the separations preview panel are physical ink colors we'll be printing with. Process purple won't show up because it will be printed using a combination of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. But a spot green color should be listed on the separations preview panel because we will be printing with actual green ink. 
Also, if you turn off all the colors except for one to see exactly where that color is used, you will notice that when limited to one color for the separation, the preview panel displays artwork in grayscale. That is to be expected. It's showing you the density of the ink being applied. And so if you're only looking at let's say the cyan ink color, all the other eyes are turned off, and you see grayscale, anything that's black means it's 100% dense or it'll print in 100% of cyan. Anything that's a shade of gray is a percentage of cyan, and so it's very, if it's very, very light, it might only be printing with 10% cyan in that area.